and welcome to a new video. So it is Sunday morning. We're about to go to church and Babe has his buck shirt on. Yes. <laughs> so today's video is actually going to be a little bit of a skincare reset with me. So in the last couple of vlogs, I've been telling you guys how I've been struggling with little bums and I've been struggling also with a lot of acne scars and things like that. So we're going to get a little bit real in this video and I'm going to show you guys some, I'm actually going to make some rose water. I have fresh roses that have been sitting in the water. I just have to actually make it and add that to my spray bottle. And then I have a couple of new products, not too much because really I'm just focusing on making sure that I'm using like all natural stuff. I've just been wanting to do DIY stuff for my skin instead of buying more products. But basically we're gonna get my skin together today, give it a little bit of a reset. Um, but right now it's looking pretty good. So yeah, join me today. I I actually also might be taking you guys to the store because I want to get a product that has salicylic acid in it. I think that's the only thing I'm actually missing. So it's time to start taking better care of my skin. If you guys have anything that you think that I should implement, definitely let me know. I am a DIY type of person. I like doing all natural things. So preferably comment down like DIY things that maybe have worked for you. Yeah, happy Sunday. We're about to go to church and I'll see you guys back later. I have a nice little french toast breakfast going on and then we are going to head out but first I need to grab some water because I haven't had water which I know water is a major component to your skin looking good but one thing I'm gonna say is that's not my problem um, I have been on a fitness journey a muscle building journey really my water intake has always been really good and I still get breakouts so I'm basically on a mission to figure out what is causing it, what's going on, um, but I really think it's just my routine. I don't have a specific routine that I follow, um, but yeah, I am aware that water needs to be, definitely be drinking at least um, a liter or two of water a day. So, time to have some breakfast. Going to get out of here, go to church, go praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna see if babe wants to take me to TJ Maxx to uh i want to find an ice roller and then i want to find a salicylic acid product so all righty we are back from church and i'm getting ready to make my um rose water for my hair the game is playing babe is watching that so basically i have my roses right here and they're so beautiful i'm only going to be using about two of these roses because i basically use this little um, spray bottle to fill it up with rose water so i don't have to make as much and also i like to keep my rose water fresh so yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this little corner. We um, are recuperating from being sick, so we've had our medicine out for quite some time. I'm about to just put it away and just declutter this little area really quickly. So these are the roses. Just gonna use two. I actually think I'm going to use three instead of two. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rose petals into the water now. The water is pretty hot. Okay, so the petals are in there. So with the rose water, you do wanna have the correct amount of water. So however much of the spray you're trying to make that's how much you want to put initially um, and never let it boil just let it be at a heated temperature not really a boil this is what my rose petals are looking like right now I am going to be putting a glass bowl so that it will weigh the petals down a little bit so they'll soak better just going to add this bowl over top like that and now we're gonna give that a good like five minutes to just sit there and steep. Alrighty, so I'm in the bathroom now and the first thing that I'm going to do is put my hair up into a bun. 
and then we're going to take this makeup off and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have been using again this is very new to me I'm still learning so definitely comment down any recommendations or anything like that that you might have got my little tea and my hair tie so this one's super cute I actually had a black one this is like the skims um, hair tie but um still fun all right so we are funny it so um this is what I use to wipe off my makeup the makeup wipes that I use are by glow beauty care and they are just regular aloe vera extract um, makeup wipes and I use two so I make sure that I really really get off all of the makeup and you guys can already start seeing a lot of the problem areas that I'm having. And I've actually never thought about doing this on camera, but one thing I will say is like, that's why makeup exists is to be able to, you know, cover yourself, cover up certain things, dark circles or acne marks things like that that's why makeup exists so I'll never pretend like my skin is perfect in real life um, because it's definitely not and I know that you know sometimes there's really nothing that you could do about certain things like your skin is sometimes just gonna do what it wants to do so but I just want to show you guys basically this is with no makeup on my skin and this is with makeup so you guys can see my skin is a little bit more pale um really no dimension to it or anything like that so it's it's totally okay to um to have uneven skin and just like you know paleness going on whenever you don't have makeup that's just happens especially because right now we're in the fall so i'm going on my second wipe and look at how much that picked up which I actually can kind of go back over my forehead okay we're gonna throw that one away so now I'm going in with a second wipe and but yeah I just basically want to take the time out to tell you guys that you know I do struggle with acne especially on my monthly it I always get very painful bumps like I typically get a lot of whiteheads and blackheads not a lot but definitely very visible I feel like my last video for example like I had a lot that were visible but I think that was also because the camera settings that I had on when I had first bought my camera um, it was making my skin look really really rough so but naturally I do get these little white heads I get about three or four black heads that just keep coming back um, and so it's just totally natural it's natural to you know have problems with your skin because it's skin and it's affected by everything um, it could be affected by the products that you use the things that you're eating your hormones stress all of those different things will affect your skin no matter what the Lord loves you he made you exactly how he wanted you to be never keep yourself in a place where you're feeling like you don't matter or like you're not enough based off of your skin based off of how you look because I know how acne can really affect one's confidence and I don't let that affect my confidence anymore I allow my body to be my body so if it feels like breaking out that's just what it is it I have a breakout and I'm just still gonna live my life because life is too short to be not living it because of bumps on your face and this is why I specifically wanted to make this video because I'm starting to take my skincare serious I am 26 years old and I've really never been into um, skincare I've always used whatever on my face and called it a day so um, yeah basically the makeup is off and now I'm going to go ahead and wash it with this uh, CeraVe Hydrating Cream Foam Cleanser. And this is the new one that I got from Target. And I hope that I like it. On the back of it, it says it is a controlled release for all day hydration, which is good. 
removes dirt, oil, and makeup. It has amino acids, which help extract and hold water on the skin. And it says it's fragrance-free, which was the main thing that I needed was fragrance-free. I wanted to really see if fragrances is something that is irritating my skin and causing those little extra bumps that come up on my skin. Then it says it's gentle, non-drying, and pH balanced. So this is going to be my new um, facial wash. So I guess in about a month or maybe two months, I'm going to be doing updated skincare stuff. Like if I've added anything to my routine, and then I'll let you guys know how this has been working for me. rag but typically I have been letting my face air dry instead of using a rag but my skin feels so good and it doesn't feel stripped at all that is the first time I'm using that face wash and already I can tell that I love it so now I'm gonna do illuminating honey essence mask this is a purifying and clarifying mask that moisturizes and adds natural glow and brightness. This is the one that I'm gonna be using. Um, and yeah, there we go. So I'm guessing it just kind of goes like this. All right, the face mask has been on and wow. My skin looks really moisturized and hydrated. I am actually loving this. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of rub the rest of this into my skin. My skin looks really healthy. I still have a lot of these like pigmentation marks. I'm not really worried about that. I believe and I feel like my skin looks so healthy right now. I typically know when I'm having a bad skin week and this is actually, this is actually really good. I'm proud of this so yeah basically i'm going to rub that in and then i wanted to show you guys these eye patches because sometimes i will use eye patches especially when i'm like i'm just recovering from getting sick basically when i get sick i get even more like really really big bags under my eyes and so that's where these come in handy especially that time of the month now that my skin is dry i'm going to go ahead and add my rose water which came out so pigmented and perfect and this is actually my first time doing rose water and this is going to be a staple this stuff is really good for your hair and your skin i've done some research on it so that's why i wanted to do this little diy i think this is going to definitely be a staple of mine so I think you guys should try it out definitely the more natural things you can add to your routine the better so i'm just going to spray that onto my face i'm just going to let that air dry wow guys my skin feels so refreshed lastly i'm just going to add a little bit of chapstick to the lips this is a um himalayan pink salt chapstick so it adds like extra nutrients to the uh, to the top layers of your lips which is always a plus but this is basically what my skin turned out to be like very soft and moisturized and yeah i'm just going to have a nice chill cozy day in so i'm hoping that this routine is going to help me to avoid all of those little chin bumps that i get and the ones here that I get also for the updated skincare video, I'm sure I'll have a lot of different things that I've implemented and added. I also want to get a facial steamer, uh, but I believe when starting things off, just I like to start off very slow so that when something's not working, I can know what's not working instead of adding all these different new products and new things to my routine. So um, those are just three things that I will be adding. So an ice roller, a facial steamer, and then a salicylic acid, probably cleanser or maybe a moisturizer with salicylic acid. 
But in the meantime, this rose water is going to be my moisturizer because my skin does so well with mists. That is my routine. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope you guys enjoyed videos like this where it's more of like self-care, a little bit educated. Did a little DIY of the rose water. So definitely if you like this video, share it with someone who might benefit from it as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thank you.